May you be blessed and see the works of an amazing God this day and throughout the entire day. A blessing that will make you smile this day. Smile instead of cry. May the morning be full of laughter. Laugh away the sad. Look at the bright side, not the bad. Bless your day. Our Lady has just given us the message about as we approach the month of November, our attention is drawn to the global stage, where a tapestry of significant events is set to unfold in various nations across the world. In the coming weeks, the world is poised to bear witness to no fewer than eight events. Some countries must prepare for November. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. A breath of prayer in the morning means a day of blessing sure, a breath of prayer in the evening means a night of rest secure. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray, prayer come, O Spirit of counsel, help and guide me in all my ways, that I may always do thy holy will. Incline my heart to that which is good, turn it away from all that is evil, and direct me by the straight path of thy commandments to that goal of eternal life for which I long. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, take all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish you have given me. I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love are wealth enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more. Amen. These events serve as a reminder of the world of our global community, emphasizing the necessity for collaborative efforts and collective awareness in addressing the myriad challenges that concern us all. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, I give you my affection, beloved children of my Immaculate Heart. In order for you to be people who ponder on everything that happens, I call you, people of my Son, to be fraternal, to maintain your faith, to give in order to receive, and to pay close attention to the signs and signals. My Son bears the consequences of every deed and action that goes against His will. The time has come for my children to be blind, deaf, and dumb in order to appease those who are not in harmony with the divine will. They will no longer see, hear, or preach. Humanity is being driven mad by the noise of what is worldly and harmful to body and spirit. You do not pray and have turned away from my son. You are a humanity without God. There will be eight events in the USA, England, Brazil, Colombia, and Italy. These events are fire, hail storm, earthquake, and massive explosions. In the not-so-distant future, the United States will find itself at the epicenter of an escalating crisis. Unexplained fires will begin to erupt in different corners of the country. From the wild and vast landscapes of the American West to the bustling city streets of the East Coast, these fires will rage on with unrelenting fury, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Firefighters and emergency responders will be stretched to their limits as they battle to contain the blazes, which will seem to defy all logic. Meanwhile, England will be hit by an inexplicable hailstorm of unprecedented magnitude. Hailstones, larger than anyone can remember, will pelt the countryside, causing extensive damage to homes, crops, and vehicles. The skies, usually calm and predictable, will become a source of unpredictability and chaos, leaving residents in disbelief. In Brazil, a nation known for its natural beauty and vibrancy, an earthquake will send shockwaves through the land. The earth will tremble and shudder, rattling cities and towns. Buildings will sway, 
and people will run for cover as the ground beneath their feet seems to rebel against the stability they had always known. Colombia, nestled in the heart of South America, will be rocked by massive explosions that will seem to come from the very depths of the earth. These powerful detonations will cause widespread panic and confusion. In the midst of this chaos, communities will rally to help those affected, showing the strength and resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Finally, Italy, a nation steeped in history and culture, will find itself grappling with a profound mystery. The skies above Rome will be illuminated by colossal and enigmatic explosions that will leave experts baffled. These massive bursts of energy, unlike anything seen before, will cast an eerie glow over the ancient city and raise countless questions about its origin. The earth has awoken in its depths, and everything within it will rise to the surface through volcanoes, so pray, 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 people of my son. People of my son, pray, pray, for there will be anarchy in England and tears in France. O oh children, pray. Pray, pray, people of my son, hurry up with your conversion, this is not God's time, but yours. Within a moment, you will discover yourself in a state of turmoil. The Most Holy Trinity loves you. Be persons who, without forgetting the law of God, acts of mercy, the sacraments, and the words of sacred scripture, exercise prayer, mercy, charity, fraternity, humility, and faith. I love you, I bless you and protect you. As these remarkable events played out, a feeling of uncertainty spread across the world. The countries affected by these mysterious happenings were left to deal with the aftermath, looking for answers and comfort in a world that had suddenly changed. It served as a clear reminder of how delicate the balance is between people and the power of nature. It also showed how determined individuals and communities can be in times of trouble, as they joined forces to face the challenges and rebuild their lives in the midst of the chaos. Exodus 3 verse 2 there the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. Let's now come together in a unifying moment of prayer, where our hearts and voices converge in a shared communion with the divine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.